quick test of the uh, motherboard what I bought recently. Um, I'll be sort of uh, assembling uh, the CPU onto this and the uh, dim dims. I'll only be using 8 gig out of the 16 gig kit. Um, so let's uh, crack on with it now. I'm looking forward to this setup. out of the box, I doubt it very much. I might do, but not, not at this, as of this moment in time. So let's put this box somewhere here. Okay. Pack the motherboard. graphic card I will be using because it's a very slim case I'll be using this graphic card I think it's a Quadro 630 something like that no K620 uh, the power consumption is um, 45 I think it's 45 watt maximum and uh, basically it pumps out uh, a 4k full 4k resolution uh, at 60 frames per second so that's one of the reasons why I need this and uh, the other reason I need this is because I'm only I'm setting it up in a very small uh, form factor case which is going to be let me move this motherboard whoopsie -dee -dee. it's this case so this sort of tends to this is the actual size of the uh, case once it's put together so uh, that's where all the things are going in and finally the power supply is going to be this one be quiet uh, 350 watt power supply but obviously can't go in the case so this will be unfortunately left out sticking out the case uh, because the power supply that's built in with it within the case itself the antec uh, uh, mini skeleton that that's that's not enough to just handle the cpu let alone the rest of the components so well, let's crack on with it basically <coughs> something that should have been done left last i'm doing it now uh, <coughs> okay so i've got a eight pin uh, header let's uh, undo the cpu socket let me see if i can get a closer view okay and zoom in let's do the cpu okay so Hang on, let me unbox the uh, CPU. I think that might be the wise thing to do. Here we go. Oopsie daisy. It was a while since the last I sort of uh, did a build for myself. <coughs> okay. I'll be using this sticker on the case. <coughs> That's the processor. Expensive. This is what I call money making better than gold. Maybe three hundred and thirty-one pound somewhere retail in the region of the highest retail price I've seen is about four hundred, four hundred and fifty pound as daft as it may, but that's what you know. Um, it's retailed at. So nice and gently. Now I probably need to zoom in. in view beautiful and nice and gently you want to drop it up just line it up for between these nudges here and the studs on either side nice and gently you want to drop it you do not want to sort of let me just show you what I'm doing like that line it up and just drop it in okay just give it a quick wiggle and make sure that it's in place 
beautiful and you've always got the uh, triangular and the pin uh, sort of a things just to show you the correct orientation anyway so that's not a big deal okay there we go and just drop the pin in now I'm going to apply some decent thermal paste I've got a choice between Arctic MX Silver 5 or I have I have uh, it's been a little star or this one the MX uh, let me just zoom out so I've got a choice between that one or that one and the rest are just an absolute bag of shite so I'm not going to use that rest of them so I'm debating which one to use now because that's is this is how much have I got have I got enough on this though to sort of mm, interesting because that's very interesting let's just see how much I've got left on this Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> Check, mate, no chance. So, absolutely no chance. So, it'll have to be the MX4 uh, thermal compound, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to. I'm going to. Usually, I'd, I'd leave a. I'd put a rice grain and start spreading it, but I'm going to do it this. this Wait, let me sort of zoom in and show you what I'm up to. Okay. It's one of the best thermal paste you can buy as of, you know, from today's market. Um, now the ultimate question I have is uh, the, uh, hmm, the CPU socket. For the sorry for the fan bracket, whether if to use the uh, fan bracket that I already have, or to sort of use a sorry the water cooling, or should I sort of use a standard fan setup? Let me see what fan I have. Whether if I have a fan to meet that socket, let's see if the if this would fit into the socket. Yes, of course it would fit into the socket basically. Um, hmm. one of the pins missing off it, basically. One of the pins actually missing off that, so... The trouble is I just want to make it, keep it as compact as possible, but equally sort of keep the temperature as low as possible at the same time now. I was going to use this monster here. I don't know if you can see it use this but quite obviously it's far too big for the casing so I'm just debating what to do now I'm all confused we just rip, rip, bam, get this out of the box and see how it sort of looks oh man, it's wrapped it's proper wrapped so it's huge that fuck Jesus Christ man that is huge That is huge, that Biminic. Wow. That's going to be a bit of a mission to put on, don't they? What I'm going to do is I'm going to test it. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to utilise this uh, Corsair H1110 IGT. 
Um, I'm probably going to utilise that. So, but I can't do that as of yet. What I'm going to do is I just want to sort of. Uh, Then I've got this fan. I'm, I'm all confused at the moment, guys. Really confused. Don't know what to do. Oh, I can use this this smaller one, that one, which was on on my existing uh, s previous setup. It ran fine, no problems. But that one is way, way too big. Absolutely enormously big. So I'm still sort of thinking at the back of my mind so while I'm doing it. So let me just tidy up this. Desk and furthermore, let's put those uh, dims inside the dim slot. I will be using two of them. These are quite obviously DDR4. No, I'm doing it the wrong way around. I'm going to set guys these days. Okay, that's clicked in. So I've got to put this bit in first, line the other bit and then click it in, beautiful, nice colour scheme, it's gone quite nicely with the rest of the board, usually you can get these in different colours, red, blue, whatever it is, so I've been quite impressed with the uh, colour scheme and, and I bought them previously, a long long time ago, so, uh, so it's just one of those things but sort of put this inside the uh, box. Uh, furthermore, um, I think I'm going to get £45 cash back from Asus because I bought the combination of this particular board and the uh, 8700K uh, 8, uh, processor, so I'll probably get a cr cash back. I will have to apply for that um, as soon as... Uh, on, on, on the 15th of uh, February actually okay now the question the ultimate oh crap I've got it it's got the thermal paste on yeah. it is quite a bit but it doesn't matter mate it really doesn't matter some says that it'll act as a thermal um, you know he'll have all these ridiculous uh, thermal issues and so on and so forth but I'm not I'm not asked about that you know but this stuff, this thermal MX4, is very durable. I think it, it's up up to 80 years, which is absolutely amazing. Before it gets all stiff and hard and all that crap, or less less conductive, I should say. So let's wipe this off and. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to end up using this actually. A bit dead on us, so they'll probably end up using this. So <coughs> okay, so let's uh, give it one more clean. I need to clean my hand first because I've got lots of crap on my hand. Oh man, I should have worn a glove to sort of remove this thermal paste. It's just absolutely fucking nightmare to move. Right, okay, so moment of truth now. What do I do? So let's just try and get my head around this. So, no, it will be this way around because of the. Uh, that will be towards the back of the case. So it'll be. It'll be going like this, so let's sort of uh, crack on with this first. <coughs> okay, 
so just to get an idea as to what we're up against okay so this is very very awkward let's see if it would let me mount this onto the uh, beautiful okay and I shall put a Okay, so that's one down, three more to go, but I'm going to sort of uh, tighten up the screws once I've sort of put all the four screws together, well, on. I'm tired, so I am sort of uh, chatting gibberish. It's swimming late in the night, and that's the only time I can do something while it's nice and quiet. Okay, let's put another one in. Okay, so that's been done, and they are finally the last one. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the build after. I just want to test and make sure that the uh, CPU is, you know, the board is powering on um, on my test drive, and uh, that's that's the main purpose why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm not gonna sort of finish the build tonight because it's quite late. I need to sort of get get to bed <coughs> so that gets clipped onto the uh, CPU fan header and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a flat top screwdriver Hmm, very interesting. Hmm, this is very interesting, this. So that's going round, round. going round so we know that the pins are nice and sort of uh, that's going round as well so let me just make sure that the board hasn't warped it shouldn't have warped like that but I'm still going to sort of slacken these screws a little bit one turn, one turn, one turn, one turn. Okay, let's see how uh, the board is. I'm going to do one more turn on all of them. One turn, no, so it was like this. It's a quarter turn, a half turn, I should say. Half turn, half turn. No, it's slacking off too much there. After. Hmm. I make sure that the board's not warping because that might be a concern for me in the future. So I don't want to. I don't want the board to warp too much. Okay. So we're going to leave. We're going to leave this as it is. Okay. Let's hook this up onto the uh, case fan. Okay, so we'll leave this as it is for now. Let's just let's just not worry about this now. I've got a, a beep uh, a buzzer for the uh, front uh, control. 
it'll beep when it's posting. So let me see where the actual uh, speaker, speaker, and speaker. So I would, hmm, that would be here. So it gives me a beep when it's posting. Okay, magic. So let's get grab the power supply now. Hard drive's already attached. Move this to a side. Zoom out, and I'm already zoomed out. Okay, so now let's hook up the power supply and test and make sure that it's all okay before sort of reassembling everything back onto the uh, tiny case. Okay, so that's gone in the uh, four pin uh, CPU, which is there. I had to buy this separately from eBay. Uh, because the power supply only has four pins, so that all transformed from four pin into eight pin power supply uh, for the uh, motherboard. Um, now let's hook up the hard drive onto one of the SATA connection. Okay, here we go. That's beautiful. Now. Now the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. So that's all hooked up. That's okay. I'm quite happy with the tension level here. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. There's nothing else I need to do, do I? Not that I'm aware of. So let's power this thing on and hope it doesn't go in setting off in fire. Ah, I have forgot something, haven't I? A dumbass piece of shit. Let's power it off. I didn't put the graphic card in. Shit happens when uh, <laughs> late in the night, so I should be going to bed now. That's why I'm not going to complete the build. Okay, let's put the HDMI cable on the uh, back of the card. And then I can power up the unit and see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I've got the video card in. Let's power this beast on. And wow, look at those RGB colours on the uh, motherboard. Let me see if we can, if we can get a view, better view. Okay. Hip, hip, hooray. Now let's power it on. So where is the power pin? Okay, I can't see. It's because of the lights. Power button. Is that the one? I'm going to say, no, it's the one at the back, so I need a flat top screwdriver. I need display, show me display, show me display. Yes, it beeped and it's post. Show me display. Yeehaw! Hip, hip, hooray! And it beeped again. Yes, this whatever. CPU, new CPU installed. Please enter the virus. Your system, F1 to set up. Uh, no keyboard detected. That's absolutely fine, my mate. So let's go back onto here. 